Leo. I love my Leos. Welcome to your June 15th through the 31st of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. And I'm going to be doing your tarot reading for today. Um, before we get started, I do have a, um, a uh, website in the description box below. And on that website, you can purchase a private reading. I do have a Leo special going on right now. It's a 40-minute recorded reading for $20. Um, and that's until the end of June because you guys, like, blew blew up my uh, May Leo video, so that's amazing. Um, it's for 40 minutes, and I record it, I put it onto YouTube unlisted, which means that you can only watch it if you have the link, and then I send you the link. I get those done within 48 hours um, of you uh, ordering, or I write you and let you know if I'm having any type of issues. Um, I also have a book now feature that's brand new and that's for live Skype calls. They are more expensive. 30 minutes is $50 and then an hour is $95 and that is for one on one uh, live Skype calls and whenever you go to book it will have like times that I'm available and then you, you book the time that I'm available. And then uh, we get together and um, talk on Skype, which is, is a really cool new feature um, because I have to, you know, do it on your time. That's why, it, why it's more expensive. But I do have the uh, other readings available that are, um, you know, a little bit cheaper. So let's get started with your reading. I have the energy oracle here. What is the central theme? Of Leo's reading what is the central theme of Leo's reading today what is the central theme all right so I have a man holding your heart in the reverse so there could have been a breakup here it could be a father a son um, a boyfriend a husband it's someone that you that held your heart that's no longer in your life that was removed from your life and I have two decks put together, so I do read reversal, so that means um, every card has two cards that could come up in, in four different ways. So I feel like it just gives me a um, better reading. And I'm going to be doing a spread. It's similar to the Romney Gypsy spread, but it's a little bit different. Um, so the first, I need three cards for Leo's state of mind. What is Leo's state of mind? Ooh. Right. So the first card that we got is Ace of Wands in the reverse. There is a lack of motivation here. There's delays. We're in uh, your energy. We're in fire energy here. But it's not a specific fire sign. It's just any and all fire signs. And uh, there could be a need for exercise. What else is going on with Leo's state of mind? Right, I have two other cards. So I have the tower, so there's trauma here. Um, this is a major life event. This is sudden, unavoidable change, brutal, unexpected, de destructive, um, shaken to the core. There's a wake-up call. There's a tragedy, trauma. Um, somebody was exposed, collapsed, secrets revealed that just shocked you to your core, natural disasters, mental overload, um, and it can also be like migraines or seizures, and that's your state of mind. It's something was very traumatic, and there's a lack of motivation. You're just feeling weighed down, and I have the Four of Cups. In the upright it's causing you to be very emotional um, moody depressed um, apathetic not caring you're reevaluating your friends your social life you're kind of hung over from all of the excitement of the tower um, this is cancer energy 
Uh, so that's very, very moody, emotional, sympathetic, um, nurturing, smothering energy. So there's a lot of controversy here. Um, the Tower is a fire card. It's a major arcana card. It's a major life event. The Ace of Wands is also a fire. It's something that is brand new that's just beginning. Um, and then the Four of Cups. Fours are all about stability and foundation. Um, and it's very emotional. And it's a water card. Water and fire don't mix. Fire boils water and water puts out fire so the, those two energies they don't mix at all so your state of mind is uh just very like all over the place just, just like looping circles of trauma uh just like complete and utter shock over something that happened this is um complete and utter shock over something that happened that's causing you to be very moody and depressed Right. What self-improvement, spiritual development, or health um, actions should Leo take to improve their quality of life? Okay. So, ooh, three cards, exactly perfect. So, I have the Nine of Wands in the upright. So, we're back in your energy. This is Leo energy. This is fire energy. And the Nine of Wands in the upright is about being constantly on guard taking on way too much, um, understanding massive efforts, trying to cope, battle-weary soldier, too many battles to fight, um, reflections on the past, discovering your strengths, um, reassessing your present commitments, repeating the same mistakes. This is Sagittarius energy to be specific. Right, and then we have the Eight of Swords in the Upright. And the Eight of Swords in the Upright is about frustration, having a bad attitude, paralyzed by fear, not being able to see what's in, what's that, see a way out of things, being backed into a corner, um, feeling victimized, feeling trapped, feeling isolated, feeling ignored and ignoring advice. This is Gemini energy. So this is the winds of change. And then we have the Six of Swords. Again, we have this air energy, this winds of change energy. Um, this is Aquarius energy, and this is moving away from conflict. This is a rite of passage. This is distancing yourself from bad situations. This is escaping abusive situations, alert, returning to life after trauma. Um, there's a rite of passage. It's regretful but necessary transition. And it's moving towards the future. So you're blinded by the past here and you're moving towards the future. And you're battle weary because there was a massive sudden trauma. All right, so what's going on with Leah's family and home life? What's going on with Leah's family and home life? All right, um, so I have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. This is the card of narcissism. Uh, the Knight of Cups in the reverse is a seducer, a heartbreaker, a womanizer. He uses women or men. This could be masculine or feminine. Um, he flirts a lot. He's lustful. He cheats. He's a misogynist. He's sulky, moody, depressive. He's emotionally insecure. He's highly manipulative. He's a commitment phobe. He's upset. He throws tantrums. He's a gossiper. He's unrequited love. He sugarcoats situations. This is a card of homosexuality as well. Um, it's sex, drugs, alcohol abuse, and uh, definitely narcissistic personality disorder can be 
represented by that card. So that's what's currently going on in your family and home life. What else is going on in Leah's family and home life? What else is going on in Leah's? Okay. So I have the nine of cups. So there's drinking, socialization, there's being smug. This is the wish card, wishes fulfilled, but there's smugness. This is hosting a party, showing off. Uh, this is the card of Pisces, and there's definitely conflict here. Oh, wow, Ma massive conflict, massive conflict. So it could be an alcohol problem that's causing the tower, um, uh, alcoholism. Definitely, I'm seeing that. Because um, we have fire with the ace of wands right above that. We have the tower, which is fire. We have the knight, of, well, the knight of cups is water. So there's, there's a, there's conflict, there's massive conflict between your state of mind and what's actually happening in your home life. What else is going on in Leah's family and home life? Okay, so I have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. Um, there's tradition, legacy, religion, education, a counselor, giving your power away to somebody else. So you're externalizing your internal power. You're blindly following someone. You're surrendering. You're giving your free will away. You're believing whatever you're told. You're not questioning things. You're... you're um, Ignoring your inner guidance, doing what everyone expects of you. You're stuck in the past and afraid to rock the boat or someone else's. But I see that this tradition is heading into the future. And I see the Knight of Cups, this narcissist is from the past. So what's going on with Leo's romantic and social life? What's going on with Leo's romantic and social life? All right, so I have Pisces again. And we have the Hanged Man, which is another major life event. And this is surrender, sacrifice, putting your life on hold. No matter what we do, it just doesn't work out. Surrendering to the situation, letting things go, meditation, getting a different perspective, seeing things in a different light, feeling victimized or punished, um, insight from your higher self, doing a good deed, volunteering, going within, um, not struggling, developing yourself. What else is going on with Leo's? Um, with Leo's romantic and social life. What else is going on with Leo's romantic and social life? Okay, so I have the devil reversed. So with the devil, in the upright, we have the pentagram. And there's five points on the star. Four of the points on the sides represent earth, air, fire, and water. The upper point, the fifth point, represents spirit. Um, when the pentagram is in reverse, it puts spirit on the bottom and materialism first. When it reverses, it puts spirit at top. So it's good when it reverses. This is one of the cards that's really good when it reverses. This is the card of Capricorn. This again is this grounded, steady, steadfast, hate change um, card and energy. And uh, Capricorn is all about I achieve. When he reverses, it's alignment is restored. You're freeing yourself. You're coming out of addiction. There could be a divorce here. You're escaping abuse. Um, you're walking away. You're just saying enough is enough. So you got to change in perspective with Pisces. And then Capricorn gets you to move away to say enough is enough. And it 
the devil reverses right underneath the eight of swords here in this spread and the eight of swords is being blinded to the past and being surrounded by all of these painful lessons and then the devil reverses and it releases you from this self-enclosed prison and the hanged man is getting all of this new perspective so so far in this line every there's not a lot of conflict here there there is some pain here absolutely there's abuse there's narcissism there's manipulation here absolutely especially with the devil and the knight of cups reverse there's definitely manipulation but there's not a lot of conflict because there's water energy so it's very emotional and then there is earth energy so far so it's very grounded and those two energies go together really really well and you know that's the dance between a codependent and a narcissist they go together really well they get hurt the the codependents get hurt the empaths get hurt but they go together very well um, they mix very well even though there's pain there it's painful lessons that you need to learn in order to grow um i i mean i i i've been a victim of narcissistic abuse in my life being a quadruple Pisces, I'm naturally empathic and codependent. Um, I've had some very painful, painful uh, sociopaths in my life. And I actually joined CODA, Codependence Anonymous, and Love Addicts Anonymous. <coughs> uh, two years ago, I had my heart absolutely ripped out of my chest from a narcissist. And I started reading because he made me lose my job. And I was on unemployment for six months and I wasn't really looking for a job, to be honest. I would wake up and I would spend 16 hours a day reading, watching everything I could on narcissistic abuse to figure out what happened to me. He actually admitted and proved that he was actually a diagnosed sociopath, antisocial personality disorder. Um, I know for a fact when I was 18, I was with one who was diagnosed in prison. Um, so I, I've had have five that I know have been formally diagnosed and I've read 42 books on the subject of codependency, uh, narcissist and antisocial personality disorder and um, this was actually part of my healing and I just I had inspiration I decided this is what I this is my life purpose this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. Uh, so enough about me. What else is going on with Leo's romantic and social life? What else is going on with Leo's romantic and social life? All right, so I have the star reverse. So this is Aquarius. This is the card of Aquarius. Aquarius is big coming out for you, Leo. I don't, I don't know why. Um, every month I seem to get Aquarius. But the star reversed, it is a loss of faith. You're fearing tomorrow, lacking hope, afraid of what people will think. Um, creative gifts are hidden and denied. There's a need to take a break, to take a holiday. There's a loss of innocence. You feel like you've never met your soulmate. There's loneliness and there's no imagination here. And there is massive conflict because the star is Aquarius, that's air energy, and the devil is earth energy, and earth and air just don't get along at all. Um, air is the, are, are the winds of change. They're free spirits. You can't hold them down. They, they just, they go everywhere. You can't contain air. Earth is very steadfast. It hates change. It hates to move. Um, it's very stable and practical and it just likes to stay in one place and it loves routine. Air hates routine. So the, there's a lot of conflict there between the two. All right, so what's going on with Leo's money? What's going on with Leo's money the 15th through the 31st of June? Well, that one to come out and we have the tower again and again it's in the reverse so this is giving me extra significance um, so when the tower reverses 
it is advance warning of sudden change getting out of the way avoiding disaster when it comes to your finances you're being tipped off about your finances um, you're rebuilding your finances you're salvaging your finances and there's damage control with your finances What else is going on with Leo's money, June 15th through the 31st? What else is going on with Leo's money, June 15th through the 31st? Okay, um, so it gave me the last two cards, so that's perfect. All right, again, we have the Ace of Wands. We got that before. So it's kind of like what's going on in your state of mind is coming out in your money. So you it's you have your money on your mind. That's what that's telling me. Um, so the Ace of Wands, and you're seeing, it, it's kind of weird because it's, you, you saw the Ace of Wands in the reverse, but it's actually in the upright. You saw the tower in the upright, and it's actually in the reverse. So this is, that. that's really strange how that mirrors each other. Um, but this is the Ace of Wands in the upright. So this is good. This is potential action. This is creativity. So you're getting creative about your money. This is inspiration, motivation, beginning of a physical action. So you're actually taking physical action when it, in regards to your money. There's a new lease on life. There's explosive potential here. You feel inspired and full of energy. There's potential growth. There's energy. So you were tipped off about your money and now you're taking action. But mentally, you feel like you have a lack of motivation and this was just a huge, sudden, disastrous change. But you avoided that because you were tipped off about your money situation. So you're able to actually um, grow. And look at how happy this card is. So happy with the butterfly and the sunset. It's just a very happy card. All right, and then we have the lover's reverse. So this is a major life event. And this is communication breaks down. You're getting the wrong messages about your finances. Um, there could be some infidelity. Sex is being used as a weapon. There's jealousy, possessiveness, um, non-committal, divorce. This could be a divorce, separation, low self-esteem. There's a lack of self-love here. There's disagreements. And it's just not the right time to move forward. Um, so it could be a lover, especially if we have a narcissist in our midst, is causing this financial upheaval. All right, so work, career, and life purpose for Leo. I need three cards for, what's more than three? Oh, how many are there? One, two, three. Okay, we'll go ahead and take them. There's only four, five, five, five. Okay, so work, career, and life purpose. The Ace of Swords reversed. So this is chaos, confusion, a lack of clarity. This is air energy um, right next to Gemini energy, which is also air. So, I mean, it's, it's actually very harmonious. This, yeah, there was sudden change, but it, it, there's not a, lot of, not a lot of conflict here. It's just kind of, there's communication and there's ambition. That's what I'm seeing in terms of your finances and career so far. Then we have the Two of Pentacles. Now we're getting some controversy. Now, now this is causing so, some definite controversy. And it's right underneath of the Devil, which is Capricorn. And the Two of Pentacles is also Capricorn energy. So there's decisions about finances here. You're juggling your finances. You're weighing pros and cons. And you're deciding between two different options. Then we have strength, which we're getting back into your energy. So this is your energy here. And this is uh, inner strength, purity of motives, control over your desire, passion, um, 
potential thoughts of reason, belief in yourself. You're, you fear it, but you're going to do it anyway because you know it's the right thing to do. Um, and that's your energy. And then we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So there's blocked or repressed emotions that you need to work on. And then finally, we have Judgment, and there's 22 major Arcana cards. Judgment's number 20. It starts with a zero, so it ends with 21. Um, so this is right before the end. This is a, well, in, yeah, this is a final outcome. Um, this is unable to hide things. This is a finality, life-changing choices. This is accounting for your actions. This is court cases. Um, this is feeling judged. This is um, a crossroads, a transformation. And what's the outcome for Leo? What's the outcome for Leo? Okay, one more card. That work. Okay. All right. So we have the King of Cups and he's in the reverse. So you're being overly emotional or someone else's and being moody, depressed, sulky. Um, there's a con man in your midst. There could be, um, be careful if you're a woman because this can represent rape. There's addictions. Um, then we have the Seven of Cups, and again, we have these cups. So this is a very emotional outcome, um, very emotional. And then we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So there's temptation, there's illusion. This is the card of Scorpio. The King of Cups is the card of Pisces. So there's I believe and I desire. Um, Scorpio is a very intense energy. And then we have justice, and justice is in the upright. So that's awesome, and that's what we want to see. Um, you're exactly where you need to be. The laws of karma are at work. Um, everything is balanced. There's maybe legal matters, a marriage, a home establishment. There's purity of motives, and things are going to turn out fair and just, and in whoever's favor like if you committed a crime you're going to get punished but if you didn't commit a crime and you're falsely accused then you will whatever is just will happen and that's the card of libra so it's very diplomatic peaceful fair and partner oriented and then we have your energy and this is leo the card of leo it's a major life event it's strength but strength is now in the reverse. So you're not acting like yourself in the outcome. Even though things go in the, the way of fairness, justice, and equality. And, um, but there is that manipulation. There is that emotional manipulation. There is the fantasy illusions. Um, temptation it's like diversionary tactics are being used here we have strength in the reverse so there's showing fear loss of control feeling overwhelmed being depressed feeling hopeless there's a lack of courage secrets are revealed everything's out of the bag there's an overinflated ego and trying to be in control um, when you can't be. So that's why we get a tarot reading. The future is fluid, and if you don't like the outcome, you can change it. Um, so if you don't like the outcome, you can change this. What, what other advice do we have for Leo? What other advice do we have for Leo? All right, so we have the angel of love, and that's how you're going to change it by self-love, accepting yourself, and um, having self-respect. What else can we what other? And then we have the door to spirit. So opening the door to spirit. 
that's going to help you getting more spiritual and uh, I do see some anxiety. I do see that you have anxiety. And I would recommend going to see a professional because um, I'm seeing a lot of depression and anxiety here. Um, a lot of it. And I, it it's, it's to be understandable because we had the tower twice. So there was something that suddenly happened that just shook you off your feet. And you're like, what the hell? And so that, I mean, it is to be expected, but I would recommend going to see a professional about the depression and anxiety because ultimately everything works out in the end and um, you are loved, but it is hard whenever you go through narcissistic abuse. I totally understand it. Meditation will definitely help you. Make sure that you eat right and you get plenty of exercise because that will also help you because you, you have adrenal, adrenaline, uh, like a, your, your adrenal system it adrenal system it can't it's not like other systems where if it like flows it's on its own you actually have to be moving in order for that to um, flow if you don't move you get adrenal fatigue and that can cause depression and anxiety so uh, be careful of that and thank you so much for joining me today um, I would hope that you I would I hope that you please consider subscribing to my channel. I do do bi-monthly tarot readings every first and the fifteenth of the month. I'm also doing meditation videos. Um, so that's that's really cool and I'd love for you to join me. If this resonates, please leave a comment. I love reading the comments. And um, also, uh, join my website. I do still have that Leo special going on. Thank you so much, Leo, for joining me today, and I love my Leo.